Good afternoon and welcome to another video and today I'm at Anglesey and I'm with no more than Mr Anglesey himself, Mr Dave Griff. Hello. And Dave very, has very kindly offered to, to kind of show me around and to, this morning we went to, where do we go, church? Church in the Sea. Church in the Sea and I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce where we're going now. So Dave? Llanthwyn Island. Hamwin Island. That was not bad actually. Thanks not very bad much, at all. mate. So before Dave and I head up to the, the lighthouse, we, we kind of we came through the forest and onto the beach. And as soon as I got here and I saw these patterns in the sand, I just couldn't resist in, in getting an image. It almost feels like a very kind of like a, a, a pastel kind of feel. That's what I'm thinking in my mind, like a very low contrast image. Now I've taken one image um, purely with the soft grad on and then I've just put a, a big stopper on as well and that was giving me a two minute exposure. The, the big stopper always gives like a, a blue contrast uh, to the image but that's easily corrected with a bit of white balance but I still don't know if it was worth putting that on at the moment or not because uh, the sea's quite far out but I'd rather have two images one with and one without because I don't think I'll be coming back here anytime soon. But if it does come out, well, this is the image. This place is just incredible, it really is. Now, I still can't remember where I am to be honest with you, but you heard it earlier and I'll put that link up to it there. But I've seen this image before with, with the lighthouse, so I do recognize that image. But I didn't realize there was so much else around here actually. There's some jet black rocks in the sea scattered about here and, and there's like the old church, the ruins of an old church. We've got the cross here. There is just so much contrast and there is just so much to photograph here. We've got about two hours, I think, before it starts to get dark, so I'm really going to make the most of this. But I've got a funny feeling that I may even make a return visit here because I think you could spend the day here without question. You could spend the day in this place. Well, even if you didn't realise, you know, kind of, how well something's photographed. You can always tell by the landscape. And the reason I'm crouching down is because I've angled the camera down so I can get all of this in here. Because everywhere else is like beautiful green grass, but here you can tell where it's been totally worn away by probably thousands of photographers all wanting this shot. Well, I'm quite tempted actually to, to walk down and try and use some of these rocks here as foreground interest um, because they're leading straight up to the lighthouse. But I've got my reservations um, because I don't think you're going to be able to see the path very well from there. Um, so I think you, you know, from up here, the viewpoint that I've got up here is there's not going to be any separation between the rocks and the uh, and the steps it looks like they could have kind of blend together a little bit um, but there's only one way to find out and let's take a wander down right I've not actually made it to them rocks yet because before I get down there there was another composition here do you know what I know I really like this um, it, the image unfortunately doesn't look anything at all because you're I'm low down now kind of shooting upwards and shooting upwards means I'm getting so much of that sky in this frame um, and, and the sky is just doing nothing but I'll tell you what I think if this was like a really moody sky I think being low down here and actually shooting up would look fantastic I'm probably telling you guys nothing that you already know I bet there's been loads of vlogs and photos done from here but oh, I just oh, I just love it well I've now moved round to where them rocks were, the rocks that I pointed out when I was on higher ground and as I kind of suspected this is not working for me, it may work for, for others but 
this is so, certainly not working for me around here actually beautiful place though I mean the rocks are so interesting you know full of contrast but um, yeah with the lighthouse being the uh, and, and the stairs really kind of coming down being the main focal point in this image uh, yeah down here it's not emphasizing that staircase enough well I think I really need to curb my excitement now um, but I just uh, I've just I'm just blown away by this place I really am and I, I feel like I'm rushed now because I, I, I kind of feel that you know kind of keep looking at my watch and thinking oh we've got what we got now we've probably got about an hour tops uh, before we start losing the light um, and I just don't know where to go because there's just kind of so much that you want to explore and find a composition but I think you know if I'm lucky to be honest with you I think I may get one more shot tonight you know two if I'm very lucky but they're quite a way apart these things so um, it's a toss up now where do I go do I go back onto the beach do I go up to the old church but you know what I think with them mountains the way they are with the cloud that's rolling across the top I think the obvious choice at the moment is to go and photograph that small lighthouse. Right, so I'm contradicting myself slightly here. When I was over at the other lighthouse, I did say that I liked the composition, but I didn't want to shoot it because I was low down looking up at a big expanse of grey sky. Now the composition that I've got here is exactly that. The only difference is the lighthouse here is very close to me. So I do think that the sky won't look as bad in this image. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Now I've got the 24 to 105 on and I can get everything in at 24 mil but it just looks tight and I just don't want to get home and think oh I just needed a little bit more breathing space so I'm going to put the 21 mil on which will give me that breathing space and I can crop it to suit and what I'm thinking at the moment is black and white but don't hold me to that. Well this is going to be my last shot of the day because I'm really running out of time. Now I'm, I'm perched on a, a, a ledge at the moment and I'm looking down. Now there's two or there's three things that I really like. I love the cross in the background and the old boathouse and I zoomed in quite tight to start with uh, but there wasn't a lot really going on but now the tide's coming in and there's some really nice kind of waves that are breaking on on the beach and then kind of receding but I just can't frame it from here I've, I've had the 70 to 200 and now I've got the 24 to 105 on um, but I just can't get this shot from here but what I'm thinking if I've got time I might try and get down onto the beach and give this one last go from a lower vantage point for the last half an hour I've been battling with losing the light and I've been desperate to kind of find that one last composition, one more shot of the day and to be honest with you, I don't think I've found it but that's absolutely fine. I'm so pleased with both images that I've got of the lighthouses, especially the first one, the iconic shot. Sorry, that's coming in a bit, a bit lively now. Um, but all I've done here, I've framed up um, I've tried to take some short exposures and nothing has worked so I've just thrown on the little stopper with an exposure of 1 minute and 50 seconds I've got nothing to lose now so if it works it works if it doesn't well I've still had a fantastic afternoon here as well now I was hoping to do the ending with Dave but Dave's on the other side at the moment but if you don't subscribe to Dave's channel please check him out I'll put the link up to his channel here and if you want to know anything about Anglesey or even Snowdonia for that because he knows the area so well he is such a nice guy and if you message him I'm sure he'll reply straight away that's just the kind of guy he is but anyway thank you ever so much for watching as always if you've liked the video give me a thumbs up or leave a comment in the comment section below until next week see ya